Why, hello there, everyone. This is the Drumkid92 bringing you my first ever YouTube video. Throw me a party, please. So I figured a good starting point for my particular Minecraft Let's Play would be to show you some of the things I've already created in previous World Seas and independent servers. Uh, basically, I've been playing Minecraft for a while now. A while. Um, and really, it started off with just uh, my friend and I, you know, wondering what was up with it. So we checked it out, and it seemed just like this crazy open-ended thing. It was still in beta phase, by the way. Um, and yeah, we just kind of messed around, and... <laughs> that didn't sound right. Uh, <laughs> we messed around in Minecraft. Uh, yeah, okay, you're getting to know a little too much about me. <laughs> let's go ahead and start. Um, okay, yeah, sure, let's, let's do this one. Um, this is a cool mod. Uh, it's called, I think, Biosphere? Um, I can't give props to whoever made it because I don't remember. Um, but yeah, so like as you can see the world, it's composed, well, as you're about to see, that once it loads. The world's composed of like these little biosphere things. Um, you know, they even have their own like network of tunnel systems and stuff like that. All the ores there and all that cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Um, but yeah, so basically the whole world's comprised of these little spheres. Um, these independent biomes. Um, so that was a netherworld one. This is just kind of a deciduous... Well, actually, this is deciduous. It says vines. So that's more of a swampy type biome. Here's more of a deciduous guy there. I just like saying the word deciduous. Um, and actually, it looked like... Hmm... Looks like there's even a biome shift within here. Which is interesting indeed. If I can double tap that. Yeah. Weird. I don't know, I had to convert these, because um, like when you first go to start it, it goes like, hey, you need to convert it. I was like, okay, guess I'm going to wait. Um, yeah, so that was basically the process there. Um, whoa, okay, yeah, yeah, it got messed up. Okay, yeah, when I converted it, it got totally screwed up. So, <laughs> okay, well, this is a cool mod when it works. Um, yeah. Yeah, don't drop down there, Mr. Chicken Man. Mr. Chicken Man. Gonna cluckin', cluckin' all day and night. Mr. Chicken Man. Gonna push you off the edge. Cause I'm uncreative. Just gonna pop that stuff. Let's watch him. <gasps> oh. Oh, goodbye, Mr. Chicken. You will be missed. Um, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm done with that. That was a little weird. Got weird. Um, but yeah, and then it has these little independent ones um, that have some of the more rarer elements. So you can see this diamond just kind of sticking out there. Um, it's kind of like, hey, my name's Diamond. What's going on? Um, but yeah, so there's Mr. Diamond. Destroy you! Um, but yeah, so when it works, it's just like these completely independent biomes and stuff. And I think it's pretty cool. Uh, so you should check it out. Um, they probably have to update it for the new update version. That's why that got all messed up. Um, but yes, yeah, so there's that one. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Oh, creative mode. I don't, I don't really know which one. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I know which one this is. Um, this one is just in creative mode, so don't be impressed by all the nether shit I got. Um, but yeah, it's a cool little winding staircase. What fortress isn't complete without a winding staircase? Um, and I just kind of made this thing. Yeah, and then I got a little overboard with the steps, so I kind of went overboard with the steps. Yeah, and, and, <laughs> yeah, I was watching, uh, <laughs> I was watching a Star Trek Next Generation or Deep Space Nine, I don't remember which one, on Netflix. I was like, hey, I'm going to build a cool looking bridge. And so I started building the bridge, and it just went on and and on and on. This took me like five episodes of just like streaming it. I didn't have anything going on that night. Um, so I did this. Uh, yeah. And while, while we're traveling, I guess I'll tell you a little more about myself. Um, basically I live in Ohio because uh, I guess my, my parents decided we were going to be boring. Um, so yeah, basically nothing happens in this state ever. There's maybe some hail and maybe a tornado that pretends to happen. That's about it. Um, yeah, and our weather in the summer does not get all that hot, and our weather in the winter does not get all that cold. We're pretty much the middle ground of the states. Um, so if you're looking for a nice, boring place, Ohio is the way to go, I promise. Um, so yeah, this is, okay, this is still going. 
All right, I'm cool with that. Um, oh, 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 I forgot I did this. I made this little little shelter here because I was bored. Fly, going over to the shelter. Made it out of wood, and it's kind of disguised by water. Uh, There's a little song for you. Just thought I'd sing. I'm pretty musical, so I kind of sing a little bit, and not well. So don't don't be like, oh yeah, he sings. Oh, this guy's awesome. No, I don't sing very well. Um, here's a little treehouse I made, um, cause I love treehouses. This is uh, where I come to chillax, you know, appreciate art in all of its purest forms. Um, but yeah, it's coming up here. It's uh, nice to clear your head, <sighs> breathe in the air. You know how it goes, or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe you don't know how it goes. Maybe you don't go out into nature. <laughs> Alright, yeah, you're sitting at home watching YouTube videos. Let's be realistic. You're not going to go out into nature. <laughs> um, anyways, enough being mean to my viewers. Um, but yeah, so there's that cool little pad there with this little staircase with uh, those vines. Yeah, and this was the outline of a city I was going to make that I never got around to doing. I do that a lot. I do, like... I start stuff and then I totally don't finish it. But I will. I will finish this. I promise. I promise. Um, oh, yes. Uh, this is my first survival mode one um, that was part of the 1.0, the full like release thing, um, when food kicked in. Uh, so yeah, I just kind of did this digging pattern all the way down. All the way down. That's bedrock down there, little squaresy squares. Um, but yeah, and one of the cool parts about this is I actually took the time, because I'm a loser, like loser sim, took the time to look up the layers at which certain elements start appearing, and I wrote those out. So, lapis lazuli, gold, starts there, and uh, diamond starts there, and then redstone starts there. Uh, for those of you who don't know, if you hit F3... It'll pop up all this crazy info. And uh, over on the left-hand side, I'm po pointing at my screen not right now as if you can see my finger. Um, you have your X, Y, Z, and your F. Your F is your facing, so like north, south, east, west thing. Of course, they have to use numerical values because this is a computer. Um, but yeah, your X and your Y, obviously, you're kind of back and forthy. And then, uh, or your X and Z are you back and forthy, and then your Y is your height. Um, but yeah, and then... Outside that area, this little, my little hovel, isn't a whole lot to, to talk about, I don't think. I don't really think I have anything going on out there. I'll check. Take that off. It's going to get a little obnoxious over time. Do, 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 do. There's my garbage can. Um, open! Yeah. Nothing too spectacular. I did most of my work here underground. Oop. There we go. Um, see enough of that one. Um, craftier, yes. Um, this one I did uh, with my first item mod, um, in the infinite item mod thing, where you could just kind of, uh, you could open up when you open up your menu, a little thing would pop up to the right there. Hey, Mr. Dancing Shoes, tap 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 tap. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, but yeah, a little thing would pop up there and it has every item. Kind of like, it was pre-creative mode, so that was the the, the purpose. Um, there's the, uh, because this place is called Craftia. This is the cross of Craftia. Uh, Crepe face. Yeah, he's kind of busting through the brick there. Um, and then this, <laughs> there's no place like home. Tap, tap, tapity tap my diamond shoes. Um, but yeah, this is kind of the first thing I ever did with redstone. Kind of made a little sticky piston door. I was so proud of that. And looking back, not a whole lot to it. Oh, there's a basement where I'm just mining out levels. Um, but yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of purdy on the outside. Did a lot of glowstone work. There's my igloo over there. Um, this, uh, again, kind of pre-creative um, mode. Uh, you could... Actually, I think you probably still can. I don't know if they fixed it or what. Uh, oh, I'm yawning. Oh, Kyle's tired. Um, but yeah, you could like set up this portal. You could drop an item... Like, you could hop in here, drop the item, kind of like in the crafting bench, um, as you went through and keep the menu up, and when you slid through, you'd drop a duplicate of the item. So there's a little item duplication glitch there for you. Uh, there's a little 
thing I was testing out how high it went before you started being able to go 256 blocks high. Um, this just has a little upper level with some storage shit there. Um, oh, my minecart's all the way down there. Yeah, and I was bored, so I, I had this thing with crosses when I made this. I don't know what my deal was, but I loved crosses. Um, so yeah, and I mean it looks really cool when you're on the minecart because they're like passing by really quick and sitch. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go. You go back here. I will ride you. I will ride you. Yeah. Picking up the speed with the boosters. All right, yeah. Um, I think we got one more to ride, and then we'll be at the end of the tunnel. But yeah, I uh, I went pretty in depth with this one actually. Um, I'd forgotten how much I'd done here. Um, man, this is kind of a midway point storage station with some extra stuff. Um, yeah, you can tell I had to update this because all the chests are doing their Blackie McBlackerson thing. Um, but yeah, okay, let's do this right. <coughs> Um, oh, my character skin uh, is Isaac Clark from Dead Space um, in kind of a fancy looking thing of armor. So if I wasn't wearing this diamond crap, you could see it. Uh, but yeah, it's a, I like Dead Space. It's uh, my favorite horror game ever. Well, I don't because I don't really consider Resident Evil 4 a horror game, I guess. I don't know why. I just kind of don't. Um... Yeah, I always had monsters spawning down here. Stupid black chests. Not that I'm racist. Um, I, I want to see your beautiful textures. Um, so I kind of lit it up with netherrack stuff. There's my portal over there. To the nether realm. Uh, yeah, see the door's all messed up. Thanks, update. Um, yeah, there's stuff over there. This is all underwater. It's my secret underwater ice base. Because this was I. Oh, it is still iced over. Okay, so biome change wasn't that significant. Um... But yeah, and you come over here, and this is how you get out of there. Get out of there! Um, but yeah, super secret disguised. Um, dun -dun 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 -dun. uh, yeah, and then here was the first kind of area I really did. Um, yeah, and of course, this is all pre-glass pane stuff, so that's why I'm using solid blocks of glass. Oh, USOB. USOB. Uh, Crippa! Basically, <clears throat> yeah, I got my lava fountain. This is the first natural lava fountain of Craftia. There will be more, possibly. Um, but yeah, coming on in here. This is nice looking. Stately affair. Um, but yeah, I can get enemies to drop down into there, and then I can sometimes collect their shit. Uh, I mean, it's lava, so not usually. Um, so that's my little basement with my little trap there. Lure them over. And I had to cover this because the spiders kept coming in. I don't like spiders. Um, yeah, and I get these markers going up whenever there's like a place I would go down into. Um, let me go look. I don't know how long this first episode's going to be. Um, my plan is... Uh, uh, my plan is to do like 15, 20 minute episodes when I finally get to my Let's Play. This one will be the longest probably by far. Um, this is my water slide, because everyone needs a water slide. Um, but yeah, this will definitely, almost, maybe, be my longest one. Um, and this takes about a year and a half to go all the way up. So once I get to the bottom here, um, I will end this one. If you guys want to see more of this world later, just hit me oop and let me new. And I shall. I shall. So yeah, it just kind of keeps Gideon going. I think this is where it ends. Yeah, yeah, that's where it ends. Um, and yeah, now they're down at the bottom of my mind thing. So screw that one. We're going to go to the next one. Valhalla. I'm not sure which one this is. I don't know, like... Oh, okay, yes, this one. Um, ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. This is the one where I first discovered how to do the giant mushrooms. So naturally, I had to surround my house with them. Um, you can come up on here, and like a little lookout post. And you're like, oh no, skeleton archers approaching, my sire. You can ride down here quickly to alert the king. Um, this is not really a king. Garbage can. Um, hey, hey, okay. 
Okay. All right, let's make a check. All right, and then, yeah, right below it, I found this gigantic chasmy system. And so there's, like, I have it all kind of mapped out with, like, structures of how to get down. And so I was just kind of working on that, going through all the different areas and all that stuff. So that's that one. Probably never go back to that again. <laughs> I'm really bad about that stuff. Hammerfell. I think... Um, oh, yes. This is my first one. <gasps> Beautiful. This is like the first world I made. Um, oh, I remember this. Uh, yeah, let's go on a pizzle. Uh, this is a little watchtower I had built. Um, but yeah. So over the... Oh, once it loads... Load it! Yes! Um, I had kind of done some excavating over there. A little bit over there. You can see that there. Um, but yeah, and the, the, the big thing is... What I'm about to show you. That was a little creepy. Um, but yeah, so you can kind of run out here in the battlements. On a little rain cover. Again, this is all pre-glass pane, so that's why all these obnoxious blocks are here. Um, I think most of this stuff... Uh, oh yeah, this is also pre-stacking food. Yeah. Yeah. Retro. Retro craft. Um, yeah, I had just a ridiculous amount of minerals and stuff. So I had all that there. Um, back here, this is my boat yard. I could kind of, you know, come on in there. So that was cool. Hey, that's a fucked up door. Um... Here we go, more minerals, maybe, somewhere, maybe in here. Yeah, cobblestone, cobblestone, and mossy stone. Why I saved those, I don't know. But here is my underground arboretum. Um, I was just kind of growing some trees for some wood. Give me some wood. Not like that. Um, yeah, and then, oh man, I remember this. I had to make this dirt path, and I had to trail the grass, because the grass only, you know, grows, like, one square at a time. Um... And so it'll, I had to trail it all the way down here to cover it to um, grow the animals. And then there was a little mob trap there. Pardon the voice crack. Um, but yeah, and there's a really confusing system of mines there. Um, so yeah. There's a little, little trap to make trappersons. Um, and then, this is just kind of a quick way to get in and out of the basement. Goes in and out. And sheep, you are still here. I remember you. He's been there for like a year now. Um, not in game time. Well, maybe in game time. Hell <laughs> if I know. Um, but he's been there for a while. So yeah, again, you know, this is my first place I'd ever made. And so I was pretty... Oh, dead space. I was pretty proud of it. Um, There's a crazy extensive mine system there. I'm going to kill these bastards. Grandpa? <laughs> Consider yourself mincemeat, sir. Sprinting head and sprinting head. I killed you, bitch. Um, but yeah, and then, I don't know if you guys remember this. Um, you could set up these booster minecarts. This is before powered rails. <laughs> yeah, this is retro. Um, you could set up those booster minecarts, and when your minecart would pass it, it would give it a little speed boost, kind of like a powered rail. Um, I'll ride this for a little bit, because this will get me going a little ways. Get me going. Brown, back it down, down, down. See, like right there, it would have given me a little boost. Um, but it did not because they have patched it. Um, I was kind of mad when they first patched it. And then they were like, oh, but there are powered rails. And then I was instantly like, forgiven. Forgiven, but not forgotten. Um, it, by the way... I actually don't know for sure <laughs> if this is recording, so I'm going to feel pretty stupid. Um, <laughs> I feel pretty stupid if I have to come back and do this again, like <laughs> this half an hour video. Um, hmm. Okay, again, you know, time lapse thingy here where we talk about me. Um, oh, what should you know? Um, I'm 19. Yeah. There you go. There you have it. You got my age. What's my age again? What's my age again? That's not the right notes, but I'm singing tunes. Um, I remember getting totally lost in this area. 
But yeah, it goes like windy wind down there and then the brandy wine bridge. Um Oh bush meow. Yeah, I mean it was just, just a really confusing system of tunnels. Well, quitting out of that. Uh next one. We're on Arlandria. I think this is the one with the No. Okay, this is a pretty lame one. Um I started this one, I was using the uh, LBP or LPB whatever photorealism mod um, and I thought and this looks really cool right there with that mod I don't know about you but uh, yeah so build a structure like that and put the mod on it's gorgeous um, hey pooping out tree little treelings I am no tree I am an ant uh, <laughs> sorry for all the Lord of the Rings references uh, my brother ruined me um, not like that. Um, yeah. So there was just like this tiny little shelter. And then uh, basically I was mining and mining and mining and not coming across anything. And it was really ticking me off. Like I was only finding coal. I wasn't even getting iron. And you know, it's like totally clearing all this crap out. And like nothing. Nothing. And then I burst out of here and I was like. Da, 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 da. And it was beautiful. Um, there's tons of items and also tons of enemies, so I probably died a couple times. But yeah, so that's it for Arlandria. That one's kind of a bust. Um, but yeah, by the way, named that after the Foo Fighters song. Like a boss. Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> I know when I made this one. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I think this one I had an item mod in. Yeah, I have like... 70 obsidian. I had an item mod. Hey, eating grass. You go somewhere else and you eat grass. Don't you turn your butt towards me, sir. I turn my butt towards you. Um, yeah, obviously an item mod. I'm wearing chainmail in this one. You can only get that through uh, creative or with that item mod thing. Um, I'm, I was feeling a little Zelda-esque, so I made this glade with a little uh, nether portal there. Uh, and I think it looks pretty, pretty nifty. Uh, Kramer, run! Don't let him catch you. It's like, like a total horror movie material. God, freaking voice cracks. Uh, welcome to the deep multi-layered mine. Jumping back and forth. Floor one, floor two, floor three, floor four, floor five. I I'm going to stop that. That's got to be really annoying. Um, but yeah, basically, woo! Um... Basically, I would come, I could come all the way down here, yay, um, <laughs> draw distance, um, but yeah, I mined that out a lot, you can't tell though, um, yeah, and then that one, and that one, so it was just like this cool little mining system I'd set up where I went floor by floor, just strip mining the entire thing, pretty awesome, that took a lot of time, uh, in retrospect, that was wasted, um, <laughs> Uh, we already did Craftia. First full? I don't know what this is. Oh, yeah, we already did that one. Sorry, I have too many and I'm getting confused. Oh, Adventure Time! Oh, I don't know what this one is. Ooh, yes! This is my first legit jungle one. Um, my friend and I made another one. Here's a little chicken house. Chicken coop. They uh, poop out eggs and I can pick them up there. Oh, almost fell off. Hey, now. You're an all-star. Um, I guess I don't really need to go down there. Uh, load. Hello. Yes, summer home. Summer home. And the mountain. There we go. All right, it loaded it. Um, but yeah, there's my little summer home in the mountain over there. It's, uh, it's a nice, quaint little apartment. Kind of like a condo. It's got it going on. It's where I bring the ladies. Shh. Don't talk like that around the chickens. They're virgin ears. Um... Uh, but yeah, there's the, there's the jungle. I just made this cool little jungle home. I was pretty... I think I did this just like in one or two play sessions. Just kind of was like, yeah, whatever. Um, hmm, what else? What else? Um, oh, hoo -hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo, creative mode. This actually is a single player version. No, no it's not. I already did that one. I have terrible... Okay, Co-op Creative 1. This is a single-player version of... Oh. Oh. Okay, I know where I am. Single-player version of a multiplayer server 
Um, I just took the world file and dropped it into single player so I could run around it when I wanted to without having to load up the server software. Um, but basically, once this all loads, this is something my friend and I did when we were bored. Um, we actually did some of this. Most of We actually did the entire bridge um, not in creative mode because we didn't know you could change it in the server settings. Uh, we eventually looked it up and I built this nifty little structure there. Um, but yeah, this is our Lincoln Log Tower. Um, there's a really extensive mine system underneath it. That's pretty cool. As you can see, we're well stocked with food. Our Arboretum is looking nice. Um, there's our upgrade center. Because if you place the bookshelves around the, uh, the enchanting table, you get maximum enchanting power! Unlimited power! That's like the worst scene in Star Wars history. Um, <laughs> anyways, here's our pyramid with the little Anubis statues. Uh, or as good of Anubis statues as you can make in Minecraft. Um... Present arms! I'm going to walk between you. There's a cool little fountain. Um, uh, the, pharaoh <laughs> the Pharaoh's Kitty Play in Bunkhouse. <laughs> um, yeah, you can't actually sleep on that one, I don't think. Um, but yeah, there's a little kid room. A uh, little apartments. We were going to add on and do like a, uh, adult apartments and stuff. And here's uh, the Pharaoh's Favorite, now serving our famous Scarab Surprise, among other fantastic food delights. So you can come down here, uh, take a seat. Uh... Got on the cutting boards. There's a brewing station uh, for, for dispensing drinks. Here's our grill on our oven. Um, here's our cutting table and our sink. <laughs> and this little <laughs> this little ingenious piece, uh, this is our fridge. So you hit the button and it totally, totally dispenses food. Yes, because that's amazing. Um, so there's a way to do a fridge, in case you were wondering. Or if you're like, hey... My home decor in Minecraft is lacking. I need a fridge. That's how you make one. Uh, uh, hmm. Zombie. Um, but yeah, we're going over here. I wish you could fly faster in this. Oh, um, I'll get to that. That's the mushroom town. Mushroom town. I will be with you shortly. Um, here's our under, under ice secret sphere base that you can see <laughs> plain as day. <laughs> <laughs> it's harder to see like during the day um, so yeah totally secret not to be found ice base so you come down here you have to use redstone torches otherwise it melts the ice um, and you have to use torches because otherwise mobs could potentially spawn down here and completely ruin your fun trust me if a creeper comes down here and explodes you have like a half an hour of work trying to get this stuff set back up it's pretty awful because um, you gotta like close off the water and blah blah blah, blah and it sucks there's our living quarters. Um, but yeah, oh yeah, here we go. Le Sony Entertainment Television. Sit back and relax, Isaac. Yeah. Watch that TV. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Oh. I don't know why. I've just been singing and singing. I think when I talk to myself, I must sing a lot, because I don't normally sing this much. I apologize um, in advance for all of the horrible tone deafness that's going to be thrown your way. Um, da -da -da! It's Mushroom City time! This week on Mushroom City. Um, Smurf and Smurfette have a dispute. Um, but yeah, yeah, so, you know, mushrooms can grow at one of three heights, so it's kind of random as to what height you get, so getting that to be level was uh, taking years off my life. Um, but yeah, we just made these cool little mushroom houses that are cool. We haven't inhabited this place yet. Um, but yeah, so this always has one minecart going around the track. If you do two, I've found, especially on a server, because there's sometimes like some lag and some issue with the physics and stuff. Oh, by the way, that just wraps around the mountain into a cool little tunnel. Um, uh, they can actually change speeds. Uh, it's kind of weird. Like, one will catch up with the other, and then it'll get going the wrong way, and they'll keep colliding, and it's just this big whole affair, and I don't even fucking want to deal with it. Um, but yeah, here... Uh, this is like our first little shelter we found tonight. There was actually a monster spawner right there, like out in the open. I have actually, I'd never seen that before. Um, so of course we come across it during my, <laughs> during our first server. Um, here is, uh, Pleasantville. 
not to be confused with Peasantville. Um, little did we realize it snowed all the time, so this is actually supposed to be a creeper face. Um, but yeah, there's a cool little uh, uh, da, 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 little bridgeway here, if I can take those off. So that kind of pops on up as you walk across. Just our fun little um, little uh, redstone trickery. Um, yeah, and then this is the castle grounds, authorized personnel only. So if there are unauthorized persons at the gate, you just kind of go, wow, Brr! go away, you and no welcome. Um, that goes to the castle sewers, in case you didn't know. <laughs> the, the radioactive red sludge leaking down there. Um, this is the town arboretum for the discerning creeper. Um, I made all these by myself, actually. There are different names assigned to them that my friend and I thought were a little ironic or kind of chuckle-worthy. Uh, this is the snake crafted by Thomas Kraft. As you can see, quite snake-like. Uh, the bird crafted by Jeremy LOL. LOL. Uh, the loyal dog crafted by Iona Bum Raper. Yeah, it's getting a little, getting a little racy there. This is the creator crafted by his loyal subjects. A little Minecraft dude. And then the dolphin crafted by <gasps> Hero Brian. Um, those of you who don't know what Hero Brian is, go look him up. Uh, this is the secret. Oh, come on, come on, dude. Come on. This is a secret never to be found castle entrance. P.S. Do not step on the switch. It does nothing except for raise the stair in front of you. Um, so hit that. Opens that. Uh, we have... Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is our library. Library. Um, the ladders you can go across and be like, Hey, I need a book from the top. Like a real library. We have ladders. Um, <laughs> enchanted alley entrance. These have different enchanted items. Um solds and uh, all that stuff. This is the Enchantress Dojo. You can come to focus. Focus. Um, but yeah, and then we have some apartments up here. Uh, no one's claimed a room yet. Probably because we haven't made the server public. Um, there's only four rooms there. So, uh, th 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 Push button only in case of crab people attack. Um, <laughs> basically this, bu <laughs> this button's tied to all of the... <laughs> This is ridiculous. Um, all, all of these arrow dispensers. And so you hit it, and they all shoot their arrows. Um, and so, you know, arrows just fucking go everywhere. Um, so that's a pretty cool you know, defensive thing that we have going. Um, oh, yes. And then this, uh, my friend and I wanted like this floating piece of land that looked like we took it just out, like straight up out of the ground. Um, so we got that. It looks kind of nifty. Looks pretty legit. And we just wanted a cute little brick home up here. Something to get away from it all, you know. It can get, get pretty overwhelming in Minecraft. Um, let me kind of do that guy. Get a little safer. Safer. Um, yeah, and then we totes have a diving board. Geronimo! Uh, and that leads you to water that is above lava. Because water that's not above lava is lamezores. Um, but yeah, that's it for that server. Um, I think that might be it. Oh, Cake Town. Aha! Oh, this was my most recent just kind of foray into messing around. I made diving boards here, too. Um, yeah, this is... I prefer to play on survival. Um, I like that option of, uh, you know, being able to kill some dudes and, you know, that kind of little, little more stress-inducing. I... I don't know why I'd like that, but I guess I like stress-inducing things, but not really. Um, I have a small farm. It's quaint, quaint farm. Um, and then, yeah, growing that sugar cane. Uh, I have some pigs, some cows, and some sheep. I have not found a chicken. I have searched for leagues and leagues, and I have yet to find Mr. Chicken Man. Uh, I've gotten none of the bok bok. Um, but yeah, this is just a cool-looking little home. This structure was already pre-existing, so I just kind of built into it and gave myself some windows. This is my bed, my master bed. Um, but yeah, so you can see I do like a ton of small projects that I never finish. But um, I will, for my Let's Play that I'm going to be doing, 
I will be finishing it. Potentially. Unless people hate me and hate my voice and my attitude and my personality. <laughs> we, I, I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, you know, that's that. Um, yeah. So those were my current existing worlds. I think I've deleted a couple already, though. So there's a couple there that I've made you haven't seen. Um, but yeah, I just kind of, this is one of those things I do, just chillax. I go on there, create some stuff, kill some creepers, blow some shit up. You know how it is. Um, but yeah, so I will not be taking that approach to my survival. I will be potentially taking it very, very seriously. Unless you guys think I should do something a little more chillax, you know, a little more relaxed. Um, I think it'd be cool with that. Um, but yeah, if you like the video, throw me a like only makes sense if you like it you like it it's just you know connotation there it's not the word I was looking for but I'm gonna roll with it like I was right um, but yeah and if you enjoyed this go ahead and sub I would really appreciate it this again this is my first video I've ever done so they can only get better from here on out potentially so yeah if you like it give me a like if you want to sub feel free. I do watch tons and tons and tons and tons of YouTube vids and like them. Um, so you can always check out my channel and see what I've watched. Um, I watch all the good ones, you know, like Xcal, Captain Sparkles, um, Paul Sorez Jr., the Minecraft dad. Um, poof. I, I watch a ton of crap. <laughs> I have like, I'm subbed to like 40 different people or something crazy like that. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed it, please, please, for the third time, like it and sub um, if you didn't like it um, please comment as to why try to keep the uh, criticism constructive please um, I won't hate you if you go hey your dick small or I'm gonna fuck your mom um, I won't hate you I'll just be like Psh, pff, sticks and stones bro that's it cool story bro sticks and stones um, but yeah alright I need to end this so peace